be found basically is that the body releases an endogenous compound, adenosine, and that binds to receptors on the nerve tract and that reduces pain input. Acupuncture has been distorted by many different groups and there are also other mechanisms that have been proposed. As far as I know, nobody has implicated adenosine in the pain-killing effect of acupuncture. If you take the different component of the study, each of the different component that adenosine is released when you put a needle into the tissue and that the adenosine can bind to the nerve tract and kill pain is not so surprising, but when you put it together it's surprising. And I think it's not so matter, much a matter of whether this is very novel or not. It is very novel, but the really important message is in the paper is that it might be possible to design uh, what is called uh, medical treatment that can enhance and prolong the effect of acupuncture. Because once we understand how acupuncture works, we can actually go in and try to do it even better. So our study suggests that uh, acupuncture works very similar to local anesthetic. So during acupuncture you have adenosine which the transmitter is released. And adenosine would bind to the nerve tracts and works very similar to how uh, local anesthetic works. It would basically bind and slow the conducting in those nerve tracts. And the outcome is that the brain would not be able to sense a painful infull because it's not received by the brain. But anybody who drives around in a neighborhood would see acupuncture clinic on every other street corner. And it's clear from the many patients, many million Americans seek acupuncture help every year, that this is something that's generally accepted in the population. And I think Western medicine won a danger by not studying the biological mechanism of acupuncture because it must clearly work on some level when so many people for so many years have gone and spent their time and their money to get acupuncture. So I think one of the things I really wanted to promote is that we can actually start to study acupuncture more and include it maybe in Western medicine.